My name is Kyle Pease. The most exciting part about race day is the feel that it's adrenaline that runs through you. You get the nerves, you get the excitement, you hear the crowd going wild for you. And uh, the hairs on your, on the back of your neck stand up a little bit. Just to be an athlete is something that I cannot put into words. And to do it with my brother, Brett, is, it gets special to, to do it with somebody that you love and somebody that you care about. My name is Brent Pease. My training schedule is seven days a week. When Kyle and I are getting ready for an Ironman, I'm doing 20 to 24 hours a week of training. What I love is the process of it. I love the preparation that goes into it. So I get lost in the details or I get excited about the details. But there's also the days too where the alarm goes off and I just you know, want to throw it through the window. Or there's days where there's nobody for me to train with or Kyle's not around and I'm stuck on a bike ride by myself and I'm miserable. I think process and how you can see yourself getting better is the excitement in the training, and I think the hard part is just the mental aspect. That's all she wrote. Anybody doing anything, you know, whether it's golf or a 5K, you know, we're all struggling to find just a little bit of time in there that we can do this or find some of the enjoyment we want. Sometimes Iron Man is just a little bit more because it's just the sheer volume of it all. Hello, how are y'all? Good morning, good morning, good morning. I work at Piedmont Atlanta Hospital. I have been working there for six and a half years. I love it, I love interacting with our patients and family visitors. Good morning. We get this for me is the hardest part about living with cerebral palsy. Right, to get me from point A to point B, I have to make sure that all my caretakers are always on the same page. Everything takes a little bit more effort. Several already doesn't define who I am. The wheelchair is a part of me, but it doesn't define what I stand for. Now, I'm you on Thursday. Okay, you got my number, right? You got your number. Call me, Kyle, all right? I will, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. I think I'm a man of faith, and I think that my perseverance and my dedication and my determination to everything I do I give it my all, and that's who I am. I, I never settle for anything short of that. And if I do, I need to look at myself in the mirror and ask myself, how can I be better at what I'm doing? Do da? Do da? Do da? What's a pig you say? What's a pig you say? Want to Uh-uh. That's right, oink, oink. The right works instead. And the best way to describe it is when I walk in every night, there's two people that are, that are there for me. There's two people that look at me in a special way, that take care of me, um, that bring joy, and give me motivation in everything that I do. Thank you. You know, my daughter, I didn't, People talk about it in the cliche, but you know, I didn't realize how much you can love one little thing until you meet your kid. And, you know, she looks at me like I hung the moon and the stars. Can you wave? You know, I've had an interesting trajectory as how I ended up where I am now. And so my wife's seen me at highs that I thought were high that were, you know, probably more low. And then, 
you know, watched me kind of end up at the bottom and start crawling and climbing all the way back up and, and really doing that with Kyle. So she's been through this whole journey. Uh, she's been there for every step of the way and really she's one of the, if not the biggest cheerleader that we have. My relationship with Brett is fantastic. He definitely has the older brother mentality. My relationship with Kyle has always been special and I can't pinpoint exactly when, but I knew there was something else going on in our family. And I just made it my job to take care and protect Kyle, whether he wanted it or needed it. And that's always been the bond, that we've always had this strong bond together. I love you. Oh, great. <laughs> You can't do it. Yo, please, baby. Turn it off. Yeah. Ah. Growing up was was fun. Brett was wanting me to participate in everything that that he and my other brother were doing. So we were always make at that take it to the rules. Kyle and I both grew up wanting to be athletes. I mean, we, my mom's got them somewhere, but we used to write our own newspapers about ourselves. Here he goes, he's ready to pitch. Come on, Kyle! I want to see it! You don't see We would write a sports section with a box score. So you'd see KP's, you know, number 35, and, you know, three for four. Uh, and I was like one for four. I was a, terrible at the plate, apparently. When we played against our other brother, that was it. It was always me and Kyle versus him, or versus him and my dad, or versus him and my mom. And you know, I always wanted to be on Kyle's team. And he's a special guy, and he's been huge in everything, in everything that I do. So it's always been a, a close relationship throughout our lives. I started running with Brett because I witnessed him doing his first Iron Man. For me, it was just that. I was out of shape. I'd spent every year since I got to college partying hard and not worrying about myself or anybody else at times. You know, I trained for this thing for nine months. I invited my whole family. Kyle, our other brother Evan was there. My parents were there. After the first couple minutes of realizing what you were doing, it reminded me a lot of my life. And after the race, Kyle starts hit me with all these questions. You know, the big one that we always go back to is Kyle looked at me and said, well, can people in wheelchairs do an Ironman? I turned and looked at him and just said, yes. I always thought that we would be competing at this level. I'm a much better athlete because of Kyle. I mean, I was never this incredible athlete or anything, and the best races I've had have been with Kyle. Even though I'm not doing the physical aspect of it, I feel my part is just as big as Brett's part is. When you're out there with Kyle, you've got somebody screaming at you. I always give you words of encouragement, like, good job, buddy, let's go, dig. The easy way out for any of this stuff is to stop. That's the only way to make it, to make the pain go away. And I don't ever want that to happen. You know, I don't want to go through that, and I don't want Kyle to have to go through that. Kyle finishes his first race with me, and the first thing he says is, I want other people to do this. And I kind of had the aha moment because I wanted other disabled individuals to have the same opportunity that my parents gave to us through sports. That's how the Kyle Beast Foundation was born. The mission is to improve the lives of disabled through sports, and the vision is to create opportunities of inclusion for, for every disabled person. So not just cerebral palsy, but any disability. You know, visually impaired to the person who can't walk, to the person who's lost a limb, you know, to the person who might just need a little bit of assistance getting across the finish line. And now we served over 50 athletes last year, with 31 of them being brand new to the foundation in 2016. The best part to me is, is the hope and the change that we're creating for people and seeing that happen and watching it play out literally with each mile. What I love most about the Valdeki is seeing the smiles on all of our athletes' faces, to see their joy. For me, it validates 
why I started the foundation. We partner with Camp Twin Lakes. It's called Camp Wheel Way, and it's in Winder, Georgia. It's a self party camp. It's a weekend or overnight camp. Some of these kids at the camp, it's their first time ever away from their parents, and we wanted to expose people not only to a camp-like experience that Twin Lakes offers, but also to say, hey, there's something else you might not have tried yet, too. And so when Twin Lakes, when their camp directors help us come up with the programming, we include a swim session and a bike session and a run session. One of the things the Kyle Pease Foundation does is we pay for everything regardless of need. Camp Twin Lakes actually, with their funding, is they cover 75% of all expenses. When we started this as a smaller organization, we couldn't do a week-long experience. And we just do different activities, such as archery, arts and crafts, and then we bring some of our equipment so that we can introduce the campus to our foundation. But we also hope that they get out of the chair or get off the bike or come out of the boat in the water and go, I want to do a triathlon with Kyle or I want to do a marathon with Brent. The toughest part about what we do at the foundation is that we see these parents or these kids or these adults that race with us and we want to help and fix everything and we can't. My ultimate hope for the Kyle Peace Foundation is to take it nationally and then from there expand it worldwide. It gets to show people really with disabilities that anything is possible. You can empower yourself to be your very best. Throughout my life, a lot of people say, Kyle, you can't do this, you can't do that. My answer was, yes, I can. Watch me, and I continue to prove everybody wrong. Thank you for allowing us to come and speak. The motivational talks that Kyle and I give are really meant to be an uplifting story. They're meant to give people motivation in their daily lives, whether they're doing an Ironman like us or whether they're just looking for motivation in their sales job or in their life as a student when we speak to schools or civic groups. The New York City Marathon, it has always been on our, on our bucket list. The New York Marathon is the biggest marathon in the world, and the biggest marathon in the world didn't have a category for what Kyle and I do. Most major U.S. races have a long-standing rule that you have to finish under your own power, but the unintended consequence is that somebody like Kyle, who can't finish under their own power, is affected. They created a lottery, and so Kyle and I got into the lottery in 2015. This was like a pilot race for them with the bridges just to make it. We did the first 13.1 miles in about an hour and 26 minutes, and then our wheels shattered. I wanted to finish the race. He tied a rope to his shoulder, and we were off. What well, were our pace for? A three hour and 30 minute finish turned into a seven hour day. But we power through it, and I think that's a testament to Brett and I love for one another and how overcoming obstacles it gets a part of life. We had a pretty rough experience, and it's one of the hardest races we've ever had to finish together. So we felt like we had unfinished business. <laughs> And to be able to finish on, on three wheels and to be able to finish with a, a good attitude was, was something really special. It was amazing to be in the biggest city in the United States and to feel the crowd and to see all five boroughs. They say you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. And we made it. Kyle is, he's the best athlete I know, he's one of the best people I know. It's because of what he's been through and how he's gotten through that. I do have a disability, but I, I choose to look at my disability as abilities with slight modifications. You know, Iron Man is a metaphor for life, and in, in a lot of ways, it's, it's a, exactly what Kyle's been through his entire life, is that it's this series of ups and downs. Life is hard. But life is hard for all of us. We all have something we've struggled through, and it's the stuff that you get through that makes it better. And that, to us, is, is what makes this fun, is that we got through this hard stuff together. Mm -hmm.